20 years ago you would have slashed it and you would have farmed it three or four times and then you would have put a conventional air seeder through it. That machine cuts all those workings out so you can spray it and conserve moisture. You know, it's a less fuel rate with this engine per hectare than what the other machine was. Well, we farm, here at Thorndale, we farm wheat, chickpeas, uh, barley, and this year we started on a bit of dry land cotton. Uh, and also we run, it's mixed, we run stock, there's 300 cows, 4,500 of winter crop, and 1,500 acres of dry land cotton. This is the first year we've had it, and it's sown 4,500 acres of winter crop, and I'm really pleased with it because of its trash ability, that's to go through the, the trash for zero till and also its flexibility for contour banks and in this undulating country. And the speed that I can plant it now is, is greater, so we can get the wheat in at a, at a better opportune time to get, try to get maximum yield. We put the grain on about 50 kgs to the hectare, and the, that starter zinc is the fertiliser that's going on with it, and it goes on about 50. The machine does 20 hectares an hour, so it does about five hours for a refill. Because you know, we've gone basically to, to zero till and a little bit of minimum till, it can go through any trash situation. 20 bags of wheat stubble and then sowed sorghum in it and it went four tonne to the hectare and this machine just sowed straight through it, sowed chickpeas straight into it without zero till. This machine's here to help us farm this country because it's more or less the only machine that, we'll, that we can farm backwards and forwards up over these contours and hard rugged country that handles it with ease. Most, most of the paddocks here are a lot smaller than what they have out west and because of us farming backwards and forwards now we're cutting anywhere between 10 and 20 hectares off each paddock which is, at the end of the sowing is going to be a, a really big saving. The machine's really easy to use, it's very basic once you, once you learn how to operate the machine, it's pretty good. It's normally harder with the other machines because we have to follow each contour bait where this one here you can farm straight up and down we can go the GPS B line and farm it straight up and down and cut the hectares down, way down. It's the ultimate thing in this farming country up here in this area for the rocks, the banks, farming up and down. It's more or less the ultimate machine. Um, we don't have any dramas that'll run straight up and down over the contours, through the waterways and little washes. It's a really good machine for what it, for what it's built for for here.